Hi everyone, it's Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and time for another tech tip. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of some of the more annoying features of YouTube. One of the things that teachers are annoyed by is the fact that at the end of every video in YouTube, you get suggested videos showing up, and you really have no control over that at all. I'll give you an example of one right now. This is one of my videos, and at the end of the video, watch what pops up. This right here. Now you have no control over what shows up here, and quite often it will be something that's a little objectionable or just something you don't want your students to see. So allowing these suggested videos to come up is really just asking for trouble. So I'm going to show you two ways to turn this off. The first way is by using Google Slides. Now I've designed this Google Slides template to show our class videos for each week. I've got a slide right here for Monday's video, Tuesday's video, and Wednesday's video. So I make it nice and easy for students to get to. Now I'm going to insert some videos from YouTube by going to Insert, Video, and then I'll paste in the share link, which I already copied. I'll do a quick little search, click on the video, and select it. And it will now insert directly into my slide. Now I can start playing the video within the slide. Maximize the video by clicking on the square full screen button. And I'll jump here to the very end of the video. And you'll notice that when the video is finished, those suggested videos do not come up. And I can add those videos to each day of class corresponding to each day's slide. So in this case, I would add a video for Tuesday's class. To get these videos, I will jump over to my YouTube channel, click on your videos, locate the video that you want to show. I'll click on the three dotted button and I'll choose get shareable link. Now to insert the video, I'll go to insert video by URL and I'll paste the YouTube URL here. So there it is. I'll select it, and once again, I have an embedded video. And I'll do the same thing for Wednesday. Insert video, and maybe I want a video directly from YouTube on Schoology assignments. And let's say this was the video that I wanted. So I'll click Select, and now that video is also embedded within the slideshow. So this is the first recommended way to get rid of those suggested videos coming up at the end of each video that you play. This is particularly useful for a teacher who wants to avoid those unnecessary distractions in class. So that's pretty simple, not overly techy, and just about anyone who uses Google Slides can do it. You could then take the link to this Google Slides presentation and put it into your LMS or Google Classroom. Now I'll show you a little bit more techy way to do this, but it's really not that bad. It does require that you use an embed code though. So I'm going to jump over to my YouTube channel and bring up one of my videos. So here's the video that I want to share through Schoology. What you'll need to do is scroll down to the share button, click right here on share, and you'll notice all of these buttons. The one you'll need is the embed button. Click on Embed, and it will then bring up Embed Video. This is called an iframe code, and you really don't need to know anything more about it other than the fact that you'll need to copy it. So I'm going to click Copy, and then I can close out of this window. Now I'll go over to my LMS, which in this case is Schoology. Now in Schoology, I'm going to add a new video. I want to put it right at the very top of my course page, so I'll click the little dotted line here. And then it's always recommended if you're going to embed a video, it's often best to put it inside of a page. So I'm going to click Add Page, and I could put one or more videos inside of this page. So I'll call it This Week's Videos. And you'll notice here on this toolbar, if you go all the way to the right, there are these two little circular dots. The bottom one, which is white right now, is Switch to HTML. So when I click on that, 
it actually switches your window into an HTML editor. Now I'm going to paste the embed code from my video and we're going to either right click and choose paste or we're going to use the keyboard shortcut which is control V. Now we have the entire embed code. I'm going to zoom in on this now so you can get a little better look at it. You'll notice that right here is the address for the YouTube video. Now I highlighted the entire address and you'll see that it starts with a quotation mark and it ends with a quotation mark. What we want to do is go just inside the end quote right there and put our mouse cursor right in front of it. Now all you're going to have to do is type in a six character code and you would do this with any video where you want to get rid of those suggested videos at the end. So I'm going to type in this code. It's question mark R E L equal sign zero. I'll highlight it. So that again, that's question mark R E L equals zero. Now what I'd recommend is that you write this down on a piece of paper, put it in a prominent location on your desk or copy and paste it into a Word document or a Google Doc. If it's in a Google Doc, just bookmark it on your bookmark bar and you'll have access to it whenever you need it. So I added this code to the end of the HTML and now all I have to do is scroll down and click Create. Now I have this page saved in my Schoology course and when students come to it and click on the link, it will show the embedded video. When they play it, I'll maximize the window so you can see it better. And now when they come to the end of the video, watch what happens. It just stops with no suggested videos coming up at all. And it will do this for every video where you add that six character code. So I've shown you two ways to get rid of suggested videos. One is the Google Slides method where you embed your videos inside of a slideshow with slides that correspond to the particular day. And I've shown you how to put it into an LMS like Schoology. And if you're using an LMS, you can do the same thing. And both of them will get rid of those suggested videos. Another YouTube annoyance that I often hear about from teachers is the autoplay feature in YouTube. When a video ends, not only does it come up with the suggested videos, but it'll often automatically play the next video, whether you want it or not. The way to stop this from happening, where it automatically plays the next video, is to simply turn off autoplay in the top right corner of your YouTube page. If you turn off autoplay, a suggested video will not automatically play next, but instead will just stop at the end. I hope you've enjoyed today's tech tips. Please join me again for another video. Bye for now.